is a surly soaker. Oh! Uh, be seeing ya. Bloody hell, Clive. Not this again. Oh, and you've got better things to do with your time. That remains to be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring, and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride. And focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't... And it's going to distract you. We need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravozd, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravosh as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. I'm in and out of Tabor all the time on postings. Never made the trip to Dravosh, though. What if it's full of surly gits like Blackthorn? I'm in and out of Tabor all the time on posting. Look, I said I'll go, and I will, but that doesn't make this a good idea. Zoltan will have turned the old of Dravoj against me. They won't be welcoming us with open arms. I'll keep the full job. If it's knowledge you seek, we've tons of plenty to guide you in your search.
kicked out already? No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say-so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. Ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through! All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the Chief. Yeah, I promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? Go on then. Much obliged. So this is Dravoged. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the Chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. always like to keep an eye on the village. That's why he built his forge up on the hill. Our master always... wonder why Blackthorn and Zoltan fell out. Hammer Envy? wonder why Blackthorn and Zoltan fell out. Blackthorn's got some nerve coming back here. Blackthorn's got some nerve coming back here. But if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Shut your hole. Would you like to see my wares? May we meet again. Miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's travelled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, 
And if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here. And neither are you. All right. I'm going. Please, Chief, you've got to do something. If this keeps up, we'll be ruined. It's no use. The flames just aren't hot enough. I suppose we could try working copper instead. If we had the ore. I thought I'd made myself clear. Piss off. I thought I'd made myself clear. Piss. Mama, why hasn't Papa come back yet? He's helping the chief with something very important. But if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Shut your hole. The chief will think of something. Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravosht. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. Who will labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy out among themselves. And it wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. What I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without its furnaces. So... Do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, then.
Sid tried all sorts of leather to make those bellows, but salamander skin was the only kind that worked. Luckily for all our sakes, salamanders aren't too hard to find around these parts. Sid tried all sorts of leather. Make those bellows. But salamander skin was the only kind. Black Thorn's got some nerve coming back here. Black Thorn's got some nerve coming back here. Let's make this quick, shall we? Come <laughs> on. 
Dare say that will be enough for a decent set of bellows. What's this all about, then? Don't know. Some kind of new invention. Good news, Clive. When I told people we'd be building them a new furnace, they were practically falling over themselves to help. Talk about changing their tune, eh? Good news, Clive. When I told people we'd be building them a new furnace... Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> this should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louds to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Well, I'll be damned. I honestly didn't think it'd work. But it's hot enough, all right, and without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Dravoshd is saved. Sorry about earlier. I, uh... I take back everything I said. That thing you've built us is... An honest to God's marvel. You've saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet coal cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer. Which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the anvil will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius. Plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed. But he took all his talent and left. Gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first. And that's not gonna happen. Well, you know what they say? Or if land weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's gonna be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. He's still explaining the ins and outs of the new forge, so I doubt we'll be going anywhere for a bit. No sense you waiting around anyway. 
He's still explaining the ins and outs of the new forge. These things are going to take some getting used to. Yeah. Give it a week, and you'll wonder why you ever bother with crystals. Let's run through it again, shall we? Don't go thinking those cinders mean I've forgiven Blackthorn. Because I haven't, and I won't. But knowing how much they improve my work, I can only imagine what they'll do for him. Don't go thinking those cinders mean I've forgiven Blackthorn. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to have to help welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. But everyone except Zoltan has. Didn't see I had no air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. Pick old Cinder. How'd you come by this? And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. Huh. Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I could never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. About to put Zoltan back in his place. Ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. Trouble with your gear, or not saying for you, dear. Not my best work, but it'll do. Knowledge you seek, we've tons of plenty to guide you in your search. My Lord Marquis, I... I heard about Eastpool, that some of my fellow guardians are to build a new home there, both for themselves and for Madame Martha's bearers. Is it true? It's true. The village is to be rebuilt. I have many fond memories of Eastpool. When I was a child, we would visit my aunt and uncle often. They would lavish attention upon me as if I were the son they never had. I went to see Aunt Hannah after my uncle passed away, but... not nearly as often as I should have. Oscar, I'd like you to assist Sir Wade in the rebuilding efforts. But... but my lord, uh, 
My training is not yet complete. I, I couldn't possibly. I warned you I might not be the easiest of masters, but I'm not as hard-hearted as that. Go. Be with your aunt. Rebuild her home. It's what she would have wanted. Yes, my lord. Thank you, my lord. I will not forget this kindness, my lord. I shall go to Eastport, but as soon as the rebuilding work is complete, I promise to return. I will not forget this kindness, my lord. I shall go to Eastport. you back so soon.
anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. Uh, Sid, I, uh, can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Here. Yeah. It's your problem now. What an amazing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards... Uh, when? When I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Just as I hoped. Witness how the Morganbeards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more. But this time, with the petals from the invigorated Morganbeards. And would you believe... Its potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. Allow me to thank you again, Master Sid. I do believe you have quite a knack for this sort of work. Should you ever grow tired of saving the realm, we would happily welcome your assistance here in the backyard on a permanent basis. <laughs> I jest, of course. Allow me to thank you again. Mm, a few more of these and the Deadlands will seem less dead. Mm, a few more of these and the Deadlands will seem less dead. These flowers are beautiful. Here we have to boil them all down to make medicine. These flowers are beautiful. Do you see anything you like? You've a keen eye. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. You've a keen eye. Come back again. Why? Your story is...
size of curls. Thank goodness you're back. Taya looks like she's about to collapse. Is this what you needed? Yes, it is. Thank you, Clive. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but Taya's right. Sometimes it's all we can do. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain, and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. How are you feeling? Light, my dear. <laughs> Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. I'm... so proud of you. He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigue. And you, Clive? Oh, 
see that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents to treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless. Until he taught me the true physicer's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And the kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service, but my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. Bearers were truly free. We wouldn't need to make decisions like these. If bearers were truly free, we wouldn't make decisions like these. Clive, I wanted to give you something for the kindness you showed my mentor. What's this? A chest of all the medicines you're ever likely to need. Seeing as you're so reluctant to come to the infirmary, I thought you might as well take a part of the infirmary with you. I'm sure it will be very helpful indeed. Entire. Try not to work too hard. And work Rodrigue all the harder, you mean? He's a quick study, but he's got a long way to go yet. I'll take that particular piece of advice when you heed it yourself, thank you very much. Besides, who else is going to see that your brother takes his medicine? Oh, indeed. I'm glad I was there for his final moments. He deserved the peace he chose. I'm glad I was there for his final moments. He deserved the peace he chose. <laughs> Through... Orkish lands. Help you today, Clive. Here you are. All in good time, eh? Sorry, but you're not quite there yet. Come again, I may have more for you. 